No lock feels bad, man. No lock, never locky. We'll keep one execute. It's, it's not necessarily true that you want to use it early, but sometimes, okay, like, if they get Death Lord down early, and you don't do anything about it, they could start hiding a lot of minions behind the Death Lord that you can't clear with the weapons, and in the long run, that's going to hurt you more than using an Execute early. Because you don't run Brawl, so you can't let the Priest board get out of control. You have to be able to keep dealing with them with weapons. So if, the, if there's a Death Lord in the way, preventing you from hitting their lower health minions with weapons, then you're not going to have a good time. I guess it's like a shield block. Kind of sucks to armor ups too much early on, because I do want to get battle rage value eventually. Thought steal. As long as he doesn't thought steal armor gain, which he can't, because I have both shield blocks and my armor smith. So I'm, I'm fine with whatever else he thought steals. There's Worgen. Have you ever thought about adding second armor smith plus shield slam in certain metas? I'm not sure about the shield slam. Second armor smith, yeah. If I start running into lots of freeze mages, then then that seems like a good tech. Ooh. So he could. It's his turn five, so he could coin out Cabal. Yeah, I can't afford to let the Acolyte get taken without some card draw. It feels bad using a Whirlwind just on the Acolyte. I think I actually set up the Death Spite here. This way I have two Whirlwind effects ready to go. Like, I can Whirlwind twice on the Acolyte. And then, as long as I get two cards from Acolyte, then I'm, then I'm happy. Death Lord. So I guess we're executing that. Oh, Emperor. Yeah, let's do Emperor first. We don't have to execute it now. This gives us even better chance to play like Patrons and Acolyte and Whirlwind in the same turn. Maybe if we get Battle Rage. How to deal with Warriors? Got so wrecked by Control Warrior. Control Warrior is a tough matchup. You basically have to find a window to make Patrons. Okay, and uh, like either you have to gamble they don't have the brawl, or you have to get battle rage from the patrons, and you basically have to keep the armor count down. Yeah, it's, it's a tough matchup though. Don't feel too bad if you lose that one. Yeah, we're making patrons here. I guess we go with armor smith. Cause he's gonna light bomb. He's gonna have to light bomb to clear the patrons. And we'll execute this too. See what else we pull out, and we can damage. We can damage this thing, and then get battle rage. Got the charge and inner rage going. If he doesn't have light bomb here, he could he could be facing lethal already. He has 16 in hand, so we need to deal another. If he heals and doesn't clear the board, then we should have lethal. Yeah, 16 plus 12, 28. We actually have 30. <laughs> we have 30 represented right now, even if he heals up all the way. Yeah, a lot of value there. Light bomb incoming. Light bomb is not even that good. It clears off the patrons, sure. Also gets me a lot of armor. And then we have to kill off the armor smith before he can steal it. Or one, that's fine. 
Nice job, bro. Mm. No mesh. Unstable. Rampage, nice. So we have 22 from hand. If he cabals and heals, he's at 28. So we have 24 damage. Coin heal. He doesn't even like heal his face. That's kind of ballsy. Now, if I pick up the second inner rage, then he's dead. Or Taskmaster, also dead. GG. Normally it costs uh, 10 mana to do this combo, but since one of them was reduced. Yeah, so this is a matchup where somebody asked earlier about what matchup does the uh, Worgen OTK improve on Patron. Like, standard Patron kind of struggles against Priest because of Light Bombs, and there's like two Light Bombs, could be Akanai Circle, it's hard to get your board to stick and to burst them down. Fun and interactive, feels good, man. Hunter should usually be an easy matchup, too. Like, we have so many whirlwind effects against Face Hunter. Maybe I keep a shield block. Yeah, I'd rather have Acolyte. I'd rather just draw into shield blocks later on. Unstable goal is good too. God, my secrets! No, my secrets! <laughs> He's gonna wish he had that if I make patrons. Oh. That's one of the ways to deal with patron board. No patrons yet, though. We won't hit. We won't set up the death bite until next turn, because the earliest we can make patrons is turn six, anyways, with patron whirlwind. Yeah, so we don't waste. We don't waste the uh, death bite charge, because now we can hit the shredder. Play the low that. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Low that is really good because now he can't coin out. He can't coin out a uh, high main, and then I'm gonna destroy mana crystal. So that's gonna feel good. Okay, so I can battle rage. Maybe drop the unstable gold too before battle rage. Seems a little bit wasteful to use another whirlwind effect, but it's so strong though, clearing his whole board. It depends on what the trap is. If it's explosive trap, then he probably won't attack. If it's freezing, he'll probably, he'll probably attack. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's. Snack trap. Is there any reason why he played the? Okay, so we'd rather freeze this guy. If it's um, so it's explosive or beer trap.
He can clear out the full one. Quick shot, another one. He just has to waste resources though. So the way we win this is like, we burn the Hunter Dry resources. Essentially we play the card that costs 5 mana. And then it may soak up more than one card. So as long as they're like 2 for 1s or 3 for 1s then... That's how we run the that's how we run the hunter drive cards, and we had better card cycle than hunter. Oh man, my second my second trap. This guy attacks so hard against my deck. All my traps are gone. Okay. Nim HS. Radio Kappa. Radio Kappa. I guess I just slam for card draw. Whirlwind. Morgan. Selling a tournament spot? Why would somebody do that? Rampage? Rampage is probably fine, because it probably can hit twice. Probably can hit face twice. It's not easy for him to kill this unless he has a beast and kill command. And it hits face twice, that's the same as that's the same as putting rampage on a worgen. Yeah, so it's gonna hit face again. Feels good. Inner rage. So we can test inner rage, that's ten. Not quite enough. I guess it's fine to use inner rage on this. Should draw first then. This guy needs to really learn how to deck build one flares already, but two is yeah. I don't know. Flares. It's a really expensive card cycle and doesn't even doesn't even like build board. Radio Kappa. He's got a lot of damage to punch through. A very limited amount of time too. So this will soak up uh, low theb damage. We got Worgen ready to go. Just need a charge. I guess I got kind of screwed over by Belcher. That's kind of what he needs here, Belcher. Or Hymen. Why do people like this stupid song? I've never heard this song, but I mean, I've heard other Radio Kappa. Thirty plus HP late game against Hunter. GG. Not if he plays Houndmaster. If he plays a Houndmaster or a Belcher. They could definitely screw us over. Cause taunt is cheat. Oh, I didn't quite get it. Oh, he's Dragon Hawk.
Against Secret Pally and Freeze Mage, there's no point to try to use Flare since they're bad matchups anyways. Wait, what? I don't think so. I don't think they're bad matchups. 